We began with the Fox News alert today. Texas and Oklahoma facing new concerns. More flooding happening at this hour. Hi, everyone. I'm Gretchen Carlson. This is the real story. Officials now asking hundreds of elves who can win in the fall. I can win without giving up one ounce of what we believe as Republicans. Do you agree, Tony? Well, look, Rand Paul's definitely out of the box. And intellectually bankrupt. Just doesn't make any sense. And I, I'm glad they're finally moving away from it. But to leave it to the states, that's the same argument that was used to justify slavery. It was the same argument that was used against interracial yeah. marriage. Well, it is a dying philosophy. It's going before well, the Supreme it's... Court before, before the end of June. And leaving it up to the state. Thank New you. developments in the Freddie Gray case out of Baltimore. Prejudice. In what way? The, what the defense is trying to do, they're trying to get their clients a fair trial, like all of us do. They want to make for. Okay, but here's the thing. There is a mix of race in the defendants mm -hmm. in this case, as we can see behind. You know, it's not like they're all black or they're all white or they're all Asian. The Patriot Act expires on Monday. Back to the real story. Let's talk about the NSA now. Wide-ranging government program aimed at fighting domestic terrorism set to expire midnight Monday. Lawmakers are going to hold a special session on the USA Freedom Act on Sunday. As Senator Mitch McConnell, who backs the House bill, works behind the scenes to gather more support. So the act provides things like surveillance for potential lone wolf terror suspects, but also collects some of your cell phone's metadata. Bottom of the hour, a couple headlines for you now because Oklahoma is grappling with widespread flooding still. Several inches of rain falling in just a few hours there. Unfortunately, more rain in the forecast. The bright side is the drought alerts have been lifted in the entire state for the first time since 2010. And the Washington Monument closed to visitors today. The National Park Service says electrical issues are affecting its elevator. So if you're there, no luck. Well, the rift in the U.S.-Russia relationship now deepening with word that the IRS hack impacting 100,000 taxpayers originated from inside Russia. Co-anchor of America's Newsroom, Martha McCallum. Great to have you here. Hey, Gretchen. So this is your beef this week. Yeah, I, I mean, the more I dig into this story, and the reason it's in the news is because of what you meant. This is going to come back to upset a lot of people. And also, in digging into this in ceremony, and all of this just makes it look like you know, who on earth thought that was a good idea when you start digging in? Exactly. Okay, so the White House spokesperson Josh Ernest was also on your show earlier today, and here's what he had to say about that. Time after time that they do go back to terror, so this is going to make a lot of people nervous. All right, now we have to do hashtag time to tell us more, because Martha had a previous life. I know it's hard to no. believe. <laughs> Before <laughs> Fox, I teased it as what you did in your 20s. Oh my gosh. Look, there she is. What's the secret? Yeah, so I was in theater for several years when I was in my early 20s. Like you, I've heard you say that you were going to go to law school after college. Right. So it was a big surprise to my parents when I decided not to go to law school <laughs> and ended up um, pursuing theater and working at Circle in the Square for a couple of years and studying there and doing off-Broadway theater in New York. Wow. Uh, that is a picture that I, I mean, God knows what you find on the internet. I couldn't find any pictures from my days <laughs> off on uh, off-Broadway, but there I am in the upper left well, what corner. What is that? I what just found it that? today. It's a play called The Male Appetite. It was at the Miranda Theater Company off-Broadway here in New York. Um, those are all old friend, friends of mine, and I was startled to find that picture online today when you guys were asking me if I had any photos. But, you know, it's an amazing experience, great time in my life. I still love the theater, um, and it is, you know, just, just a fantastic lifeblood, and it was a great thing for me to be a part of. Yeah, really fun. and I'm sure you use those skills a lot in what you do as far yeah. as performance, because I played the violin really seriously, exactly. and people say, well, what's the connection to doing TV? And it's the performance aspect yeah. of it, right? breath and focus and being in the moment and all yeah. of those things, which which I never in a million years would have anticipated would translate into this career because right. this was the last thing I was thinking of when I was doing those plays. But um, it did all come together wow. because I studied journalism, political science, and so it ends up, life has a funny way of working oh, it out, does. doesn't it, Gretchen? It works in mysterious ways. Okay, I want to deal in Shepard Smith right now because usually during the show this is time that we find out what he has coming no. up on the Fox News Martha. day. Martha! <laughs> yes, sir. What a photo! <laughs> Amaze balls with awesome sauce. Who knew? <laughs> See, this is why we do this segment, yeah, Chef. That's I me. had no yeah. idea. Have yeah. you seen Hand to God yet? No. Look at that. Martha McCallum, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like, like a daughter. soap opera thing, I think, or a commercial or something. Soap opera? Wow. Wait a minute. We have to have you back to tell us more about the soap opera. <laughs> Shepard, now see, now when I, when I ask you to be my friend at Fox, you're going to come over here and tell me one more thing, right? I'm not coming. I'm not doing anything they don't have to do. Shepard, come tell us come what you did on. in your 20s. What I did in my 20s? Close your uh -oh. eyes. Think bad thoughts. I did it. All right, Shep. All right. Well, can you at least tell us what you have coming up on your show? 
Uh, yes. Good. About these unions turning against her. Here's what she does have to worry. Look, I think the box, I would hope those cupcakes were made in America. If they weren't, <laughs> by the time they were shipped here, they'd be pretty crummy, don't you think? Well, you, ne you, mean, never, you, never, you never know. Okay, another headline linking the Clinton <laughs> Foundation and Sidney Blumenthal. Sure, and we saw in people against one. <laughs> uh, now, I understand that you're going to be somewhere special tonight. Somewhere, especially and fairly easy for her because she doesn't have a lot of competition on the left. Right. But you got Martin O'Malley getting in Saturday in Baltimore. True. Bernie Sanders has gotten in in the last few days. And so. This All right, this is a very interesting story. A fight on a school bus in Maryland sparks a multi million dollar lawsuit now. Trace Gallagher. All right, thanks for being part of the real story on a Thursday. I'm Gretchen Carlson. Let's head over now to Shep.